Hello, Goranges are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 22nd of August, and we're having a look in the main room for a change, because we don't always get here as often as people sort of bustling around and what have you. So what have we got? Well, how about this? This looks like a re-offer to me, but it didn't get promoted in the video, so maybe that will make a difference. Got 11.42. It's a sort of Regency, late Regency open bookcase. You've got a solid back, you've got this nice, uh, sort of round mm. finishing and it's lovely big solid marble top lot 11.42 quite a nice looking thing the money's probably come down on it this time next to it 11.43 I mean, these narrow pillar chests sometimes called wellington chests strictly a wellington chest has seven drawers or does it because his original one made for wellington had more than seven drawers so um who, who can say for sure, but this one has six drawers. So it's a sort of pillar chest or column chest. It's pine. What is nice here, look, Heel and Son of London. So it's sold by Heels. The lock is stamped VR, so we think it's Victorian. Nice ceramic handles, no key of course. You could get one made, I suppose. Lot 11.43, I rather like that. Nice. Carrying on down, Windsor chairs. Now, Windsor chairs, these came in as six from the vendor. They are a, what one might call a Harlequin set of six, because if you look for the small differences, you will find them. They are yew, ash and elm, which is the best timber combination. So you have yew wood here in these hoops, yew wood across the top and you would sometimes in the stretchers, but not in this case. Um, that said, that leg on this nearer one, that front leg, that looks like you would to move that coloring. Gosh. It's, um, elm is used for the seat, it's yep. a soft thing. Ash used for the sticks. And then you look at the splats to see if they have the same piercing. Then you look at the turning on the legs. And so these two are different. They both have what's called a crinoline stretcher, which is this curved stretcher rather than an H stretcher, which is a more desirable feature. So they're a near pair. Yeah. 1165, look at the turning on the legs. It's very close to the point that may be made in the same workshop, but by different workmen, huh. is my speculation. Or just one made on Wednesday and one on Thursday or something like that. Very subtle differences. There's another pair down here as well, 1164. So if you're looking to put a set together, again, slightly different ring turning from the previous pair. If you're looking to put a set together, no one's really going to look that closely. If you want six, you can buy all three lots. If you don't, if you just want a pair or so, then uh, nice. there we go. They're, they're sensibly divided up. Over here, rocking horse. Is that Stevenson Brothers? This is Stevenson Brothers. Yeah. Which, which year do you think? Oh, I don't know. Um, my son used to have one, so I don't. So mm, your son mm, used uh, to have one, or yeah. needs to have one. Well, he's a bit big for it. Like Twenty. One. Yeah, but um, adults can fit on that. Well, That's absolutely beautiful. So, so I would say um, late nineteen something. Yeah, late nineteen nineties. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I think you're tongue in cheek now. Nineteen ninety-seven. That's lovely. Number. It's beautiful. Two, 2872. So has it got the hidey hole underneath? Yeah, it does. So you've got a secret compartment under its tummy. What, what do you put there. in there? Um, sweeties. Anything you want. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. And this one is called Sweet Dreams. Yeah. Appropriate. Pretty good condition. A few nicks and knocks from someone enjoying it. But basically very good order. Very expensive Beautiful. things to buy new. They so are. a nice thing for a grandchild or a 20 year old son or whatever you, you whoever you want to buy it for. Yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Down here. Quite like the look of this bench. Let's get the line off it. Yeah, that's just just a nice super. stylish it's looking. It's huge though. It's quite big. What's that? About six and a half, seven foot. Nice for an entrance hall or something. You've got a lift up seat, chuck all the boots and shoes in. So what wood's that? Dog leads. This is pine and then it has been sort of marvelled. It has this painted finish to enhance the grey. It's very nice. It is nice, isn't it? It's not yeah. English. That's, that's a continental piece. It is lot 1146. Mm. So there we go. Uh, one more item, perhaps. This clock catches my eye, 1147. Perhaps Scottish, certainly North Country, I would say, inlaid to the mahogany. Retailed or sold by Costa of Maidenhead, if that's the original plaque, which it might not be. It looks a bit sort of boxy compared mm. to all the elegance of everything else. 
Um, again, these things are not expensive, um, but, um, but that's not a bad example. Uh, there's a Robert Tavener print here, nice swoopy downland scene. Yes. Lot 1669 in at sort of one to 200. They seem to make that sort of level subject to who else has a port wine and collectors yeah. fighting over them. So there's some things in the room. We'll go and have a look at the smalls. So here we are in the smalls room and this small section is all about ceramics, Scandinavian pottery, mineral specimens and truncheons as well as all sorts of other bits and pieces. I mean, you know, it's, it's the way it goes here, isn't it? Different, different things come in and we have this one gentleman's uh, collection of 1960s, 70s, Swedish, Gustavsburg mostly ceramics. We have another gentleman's collection of truncheons and we have another collection of, of um, specimen minerals. So uh, there we go, they're all coming from different places. Truncheons showing here, here's one lot. Um, what is that lot number? Lot 1400, you get six in the lot, many of them, so that's a special constable's truncheon, SC, being the inscription upon it. Early 1900s, it says on the label. And there are another, other, more special constable truncheons here. Quite a run of them as a Metropolitan Police example there. So a little mixture of truncheons. Others are in the south, such as over here, some earlier ones. There we go. That's a nice sort of bombing off. Look, George III. Gosh, they're very smart, aren't Crown. They? Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're sort of staffs of office as much as for whacking people over the head, Romans. Uh, 1816, this one, Parish of St. Saviour's Southwark. Isn't that nice? Very. Um, and rather decorative and beautiful things in their own right. Interesting curve to that one. That's where they sort of hit someone. Well, this one hit someone. Look, Good that caught a lot of, lot of wrong ones got sorted with that one, which Ouch. says early 19th century cudgel with unusual bulged head. Ooh. And then you get a William IV example, 1830. Um, sort of squared off end, curiously. And there's a Victorian. No, it's William IV again. There's a George IV, this one. Crown and motto, the motto being honour. Mm. So uh, there we go. You know, they're rather fun, these things. And right next to them, lot 1383, one of the first lots of minerals. I think we've been able to identify what they all are. I mean, that looks a bit like iron pyrites to me. But I could well be wrong. Uh, as for the others, one can only speculate and have to have a look. Mm. Uh, and then, handily next to that, 1381, one of the lots of Scandinavian ceramics. Look at these, great big, very funky 1970s uh, Gustavsburg plaques by Peacock. Lisa Larsen. Peacock? Uh, well, bird, yeah. I don't think they're making a big... I mean, yes, it's like a peacock. Look at its head is. It's those fan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the peacock's fan. I think you're right there. Mm. I like this one. It's in, yeah, the same, in the same lot. It's great colouring, isn't it? Yeah. And think 1950s Danish sideboards and all that sort of thing. Um, you've got the Gustav Berg label. Mm. You've got the Lisa L stamp. Um, I'm not Quite expecting them well. to be overly expensive. Another bit of studio pottery that we don't think will be expensive. This is Fiona Wilkinson. Even got a Christmas card from Fiona there. And it's a Noah's Ark. So you've got the... <laughs> Goodness there's the ark. Oh wow, look at that. It's you quite can, cool, isn't it? And then, yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a thing, ah. certainly. And then... Take up a nice little you, space. Yes, that would, wouldn't it? And then you get two trays of... Your animals. animals. There's yeah. Noah. And his wife, Nelly. And um, there's also some white ceramic yeah. animals. I mean, there's even things like butterflies there. They're great fun. So that's, there's, it's a contest for 8120. Hmm. Um, so modest estimate. Over the back here, what have we got? How about some fish? Bream, barbel, more bream, and a rainbow trout. Pretty impressive rainbow trout, actually. Um, lot 1409, hmm. caught by Mrs. Kent at Chew, and it weighed three pounds in 1904. Um, they look like they're in nice condition. This one was preserved by Homer's, the little label in the top right corner says that. Sometimes you get Cooper. Um, there's a nice barbel. And that one is by Cooper. There we go. Top, top corner. Cooper and Sons. Um, so, yeah, something for the angling facility. Very jazzy bright minerals. Look at that, whatever that is. Yellow quartz or something more exotic. Lot 1415. Mm. Uh, down the end here, these caught my eye because they have a posh label on them. They were bought at the Christie's sale of Venn House in June 1999. 
and their sort of flower, or sometimes called crocus vases, dot fourteen ninety three. There's the uh, further sticker there in a sort of creamware type material, pearlware really, I suppose. Looks like they've had some restoration around the top, but uh, there we go. Um, otherwise, you drift past more minerals and uh, a, a beautifully crashed car with its shed, which is rather fun. Lot 1425, nice bit of tin plate. Do we like these? No, not particularly. I mean, they're nice, they're a bit of fun. 1439 pair of oak carvings don't think they're as old as they'd like to be down here i like these 1472 I saw these in a house in worthing about a year or more ago and they've just come in um varen h varen which i believe is Henri varen um and if you look him up or google it you find these um bronzes each one for a different year 1911 1912 1912 is getting quite a lot more stylish i would say yes um, she almost looks slightly peasant girl. She does she? a bit. I mean, she's got oh yeah, okay, she's parasol a... and a very funky bag. Mm. But still, that that bonnet is a bit yeah, is a bit more Victorian, and that feels a bit more Edwardian in in sophistication. The Seuss Frères, those are the foundry Seuss Frères on the side, more founders stamp side. There's Varenne's signature, and obviously the 1911, 1912 year dates. So I think they're in at three to five hundred. Mm. Otherwise, what can we find? Let's go and have a wander. There's Star Wars magazines under the counter. There's a whopping great lot of Scandinavian glass here with all sorts of... And a bit of Venetian has slid in, but you've got other things in there. That's signed Costa, that little blue number. That's quite striking, the way it's internally capturing. And that one is Costa again. Uh, there's... There must be some oriforge. There is. There's an oriforge with the archer, and then other pieces, including this um, drinks set with stoppers. You get this Boda, the sort of Boda and Boda Costa, and this is Boda, and it's by Eric Hogland designed it. Somewhere you get some glasses. There we go. You get some shot glasses to go with it to drink your aquavit or whatever it will be. Mm. Um, in this zone, a couple of pictures. How about this? It's up here. 1617 Charles James Lauder, St. Martin in the Fields. Nicely executed, good subject matter, I guess. Three to four hundred. Yeah. Um, more local and less money. 1616. It's a chap called WR. WR what? I did read it yesterday. WR Paul, it looks like. And um, he wandered around the area near Lewis. So that one is Path to Jevington, slightly loose in its frame, and very yellowed, very discoloured and dirty. With the Path to Jevington, you get the Piggery at Green Street, Eastbourne. There are another lot over the way there, another lot of, of, of uh, Jevington, I think, area. We've got some poultry pictures. We've got some books. The ones, the few that didn't get away in the book sale are now back here being offered along with some others. You're pointing at these. Making a face as well. You're making a face. Well, these are from the same collection as the Scandi pieces, 1360. And you get these great big boxes with them. So they are Geo Art. I mean, look, it's got to be good to get a box like that. Geo Art made them. <laughs> it's called Florida Flamingos, designed by A. Stepan. And um, that at the front, there's your Florida Flamingos. Ah, look at yes. that. Funky. So, so that's a vase? Yeah, it's whatever you want it to be, madam, if you're buying. But yes, there's the liner, plastic liner for your flowers, yeah. and a ceramic vase. It's a little bit sort of, uh, and we've actually deco got a gold shider stamp sticker. Yeah, sort of deco and power lotsy influence and all that sort of thing. So there we are, three of those in the same lot. And round the other so oh, 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 side, stuff everywhere here, isn't it? It's terrible. Oh, we liked these. So there's a number of these. Uh, these are by Robj, R O B J. The um, Paris store selling furnishings and sort of homewares in a way. I guess it might have been a bit like a sort of um, heels or similar. Okay. And they commissioned pieces to be made. These things are called bonbonnières to keep your bonbons in, your sweets in. Um, there's the Rob Impressed Mark and they're pretty much a pair. Lot 1250. Great fun. Um, there are others from the same collection of the Scandinavian wares. I wish they wouldn't put stickers. This is so pretty. I mean, 
look, why don't we do that? Suddenly looks a bit better, doesn't it? These are really nice. So this They're is um, Gustavsberg again, Argenta wear, Argenta silver. So the silver overlay goes over this lovely green base. Um, and they're all designed by, I forget whom, but um, I've put it on the cataloging. So that's rather nice. We'll see more of those. That's 12 98 We'll see more uh, throughout the sale. There's some more Rog. Oh, these are great, these ones. 12 55 There's some more Argenta Wear, 12 56 Very similar to Argenta Wear, but uh, called Grazia Wear because it's on white, 12 57 these are robbed as well, the ladies with the fans. Uh, these are robbed as well, bonbonnieres, yeah, more Grazia, a bit of more Croft pops up. A, an Erte bronze from the same source. I think this is the Erte one. No, this is after Fuchs, um, Ernst Fuchs 1288 bronze in sort of limited edition. Uh, that one is, I think that's the Erte inspired one. Yeah. Lot 1291, sort of feather dancer. Mm. Um, so there's a number of those scattered throughout the sale. There's, there's quite a lot of Bjorn Wimblad, who you say? <laughs> Bjorn Wimblad, mm. who did that sort of thing. You know, this sort of free flowing figures and flowers and stuff. Oh, that's so, funny. Look. What? You like that, do you? Yeah. No, actually, I don't. <laughs> but, but I just think it's funny. It is funny, isn't it? The yeah. client had a great big one, a whole head like this with oh, a wow. basket on top. They decided to keep it. Uh, these come with it. These are Bjorn as well, uh, I believe, with these funny faces, Gosh. funny face pots. Um, there's uh, more. More, Rog. Yeah, you've got your eye in now. They won't get yeah. lost. Look at this. They've mounted it on the thing. It's a, it's a machine. It's what lot it? 1321. So we haven't that looked up. That goes round. That go, it looks like an apple core. It's an apple peeler, isn't it? Look, you stick the apple on there. Oh. And this will push against it. As you turn it, it will peel it. I think every kitchen needs books. That is great, <laughs> isn't it? It's yeah. a shame it's not clockwork or something, but yeah, great fun. And look at all this sort of what a contraption. So is that more liberty or not? Uh, well, you've nearly got your eye in there. Nearly. It's influenced by liberty, and it right. says underneath. Um, what does it say? If I can read it, you can't probably because of the angles. It says something like London A. Williams Pewter. Hmm. It's not as old, but it's definitely influenced by those Noxy designs, isn't it? Yeah. And it comes with. Lot 1319, a pair of um, silver plated Swedish candlesticks of stylized design, I suppose. Uh, there's a bit more Bjorn Wimblad. Oh, Look this at those. is fun. Aren't they wacky? Yeah. Lot 1313. I mean, they're so over the top as to actually be quite fun, aren't yeah. they? Really quite cool. Mm. I mean, look at her expression. <laughs> She's, She's great. There. It's just kind of comical, isn't it? Yeah, they're so, really um, fun. So they're, like they're great fun, and they're, they're candle, candelabra, technically, more than one hole. Ah. Um, so uh, there we go. We have That's a number weird. of paintings by um, Blaker. Who? We, where? There. Up here, Blaker. That's a Blaker. There are others I've seen scattered throughout, but I can't get to them too readily. Um, if you don't want Gustavsburg, there's Rohrstrand ceramics. These are Cossacks. Ah. Look at those. Very stylish. Oh, dear. And... You know, dishes like that. All good fun. <laughs> or the... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The uh, American Indian. There we go. So, uh, so as ever, a host of curiosities and wonders to come and see. quite a treasure fishes. trove, isn't it? It's yeah. A, it is a bit of a treasure trove, yeah, this one. Lovely. I like That's it. It's got great a... Fish. Um, There's definitely something for everyone here. It's got a nice, lively feel to it, this one. Yeah. This sale. Uh, Morse candy ceramics. Look at those. Again. Fab. These you can see this is Bjorn again. We've even got some carpets by him and we've got some paintings by him. Gosh. Quite where they've put them, I'm not sure, but it'll all be out beautifully on display as ever on the 22nd of August. Following sale is going to be an online only because it's bank holiday weekend. So we'll tell you more about that next week. But have a good weekend, keep cool and well watered, and uh, we'll see you at the sale. Thank you.